Hello there. This is how to edit compound clips in Final Cut Pro. It's going to be a blast. So let's get started. Think of a compound clip as a tiny project within your larger project. You can edit it just like you would a regular project. To do that, simply double click on the compound clips thumbnail in the browser or timeline. When you open the compound clip, it shows up in the timeline just like any other project. You can trim and adjust clips within it as if it were a standalone project. You'll notice that the boundaries of the compound clip are marked by a dark cross-hatched area on the left of the start point and the right of the end point. Anything outside these boundaries becomes unused media handles for the compound clip. To adjust the length of the compound clip and reveal those media handles, you'll need to do so from outside the compound clip. To return to the main timeline containing the compound clip, look for the timeline history arrow in the timeline header and give it a click. Extend the duration of the compound clip by dragging its edges. To quickly return to your compound timeline, click on the right arrow in the timeline header. See how the boundary has moved forward as you extend the compound clip? Pretty neat, right? Now, let's hop back to our main project timeline. Not only can you edit the inside of your compound clips, but you can also edit the clips outside of them, just like regular clips. Switch to the blade tool by pressing B and trim away parts you don't need. Adjust the speed of different sections by pressing Command R and dragging the vertical line at the clip's edge. Plus, you can add effects or transitions to the compound clip that wouldn't be possible if the clips weren't grouped together. The creative possibilities are endless. But before we move on, how about spreading some positivity by hitting that thumbs up button? It's a small gesture that lets me know I'm doing a great job explaining things and helps others find this video. Thank you. Remember, all instances of a compound clip are linked, so if you make changes in one, it affects all other instances of the compound clip. In this scenario, we've got our initial compound clip and an identical duplicate of it. Now let's spice things up a bit by modifying the title within the first compound clip and examining how it influences the duplicate. To get started, simply double click on the compound clip to open it up. Now, let's make a small alteration and change the title from Meat Lovers to simply Veggie Lovers. Once we've made this tweak, let's return and take a look at the duplicate compound clip. Voila! You'll notice that the changes we implemented in the first compound clip have also been applied to the duplicate. It's like magic. However, there's a nifty workaround for this. If you want a version of the compound clip that won't be affected by changes in the original, first select the duplicate, then head to the menu bar, choose Clip, and select Reference New Parent Clip. A new compound clip will be created in the browser linked to your copy. Now you can make changes in the original compound clip without affecting the duplicate. Check it out in the timeline. The first compound clip has been edited, but the second one remains unchanged. Now that you've mastered the art of editing compound clips, it's time to take your skills to the next level. In our next lesson, I'll walk you through the top three methods to undo a compound clip. Plus, I'll guide you on what to do when Final Cut is being a bit stubborn and won't let you break it apart. Click here to check it out.